Alright, hey guys, James from Azark TV. Today I'm going to be showing you how to disassemble your Piranha GTI plus Rampage board. Alright, so what you're going to need for this is some paper towels, some lube. I'm going to be using Extreme Rage. You can use whichever one you prefer. Um, five different Allen keys. Um, I know I know that the kit that comes with your gun only comes with these two right here. This one and this one. Uh, you're going to have to find these three by yourself. Alright. So let's get started. First you're going to start by removing your 9 inch spider threaded barrel. Set that off to the side. And then you're going to remove your bolt. There's a pin right here. You just push that out. Out comes your bolt. Then you're going to slide that out. So here is your bolt. Well here's your striker for your velocity. Then your velocity spring. And then your three O-ring bolt. And then your striker does have one O-ring that you'll need to lube. And then I'll show you guys how to do that when we're reassembling. Uh, next, we will remove the ASA and grip or gas chamber, whichever you would like to call it. It's basically for when you use CO2, which I use high pressure air. But when you use CO2, it makes it so that it doesn't freeze the internals of your gun and snap the O-rings for if you shoot fast. And I would not recommend using CO2 on any gun, especially an electro pneumatic gun, because it will freeze the internals. Alright, so now we take those two screws off, and then out comes that. Um, I would just use the macro line and ASA to remove that. Out comes the screw, set that off to the side, and then, because this will be hard to remove, it's locked down, it's locked down pretty tight. And then inside, there's a little heat screen. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get it out. Uh, no, I can't. I'll just leave it in there. There's a little screen right there. That will usually fall out, but mine's in there because I got it pretty compact. Um, next, we'll remove our grip frame. Or our grips. So, let's get these off four screws, these are really nice grips, you could upgrade to like die sticky grips, or I'll probably just stay with these ones, or if I do upgrade to new grips, probably get die sticky grips, but those are really nice, alright, get the last screw out, frame falls out. Right here there's a little push thing right here for your bolt to be able to get it back in. You do not want to lose that or else you're going to have to call Piranha up to get a new one. And then you can take your battery out here and then inside right here thing that says on off and then an open square for the part of your board. There's a little switch in there. Um, but it should come which is for your firing modes. When you get the gun it should already be on so you shouldn't have to worry about turning it on. But if for some reason it comes off, that's where you would switch it on. Um, take your battery. We're going to start reassembling the gun. Right, take your battery, put that back in. Put that in there. Take this. that, take this um, push thing I was telling you about, put that back in there, and then we can start putting our grips back on. Get that tightened up. Don't get it too tight, you don't want to strip the screw, but that would be really bad for, for trying to change your battery. If you are trying to just change a battery, you do not have to take the grips all the way off. You can just take them off on one side, and that would be a lot quicker and easier. Like, you could just take it off on this side, and then you could pop it out. Alright, so put these last.
last two screws in. your grip or gas chamber, put that back on. You would want to put the key screen back on if you got it out. Um, make sure it's the right way so the solid, the side that's not indented is facing out. And you're going to want to screw that back on. Get that snug, but not overly tight. Like I said, you don't want to strip, strip any screws. Um, take this. You want to bend the macro line a little bit. It's not going to hurt it. It's just that you can get the screws in the right place. And get that there, get that all lined up. It's actually very hard to get it lined up. I have troubles with it. Two screws in all the way. Fuck, I just had it. Sorry guys, this part's taking a while. Any of you guys have tried to take your ASA off before on this gun, you know it's hard. Nope, let's just leave the, let's just leave that part off. I'll get it on later. Alright, so now you got that on. Let's put the bolt back on. So you're gonna wanna take this part right here. You're gonna get a paper towel. One piece. You're gonna wipe off your bolt from any old lube that's on there. And you're gonna get your lube. Put it a little bit down it. And then you're just gonna Turn it around it, get the O-rings all nice and lubed up, and wipe that off. Do the same with your striker, wipe that off, lube up the O-ring, alright, you're going to get your spring, put that back in there, stick this, stick your striker back on, there's a little hole that will go inside that pin right there. And then now you're going to take this, put it back in your gun. And that lever I was telling you about, you'll see that your bolt sticks out like this. If you try and jam it in, it's going to break the spring. So you're going to take this lever, push that down, and then I'll just slide the bolt in. Now you can take your pin, you can slip it back through. And then your Piranha GTI plus Rampage board is fully assembled again. Turn on the board, make sure everything still works. Can you say it still works? Probably need to change the battery. Alright, and that is how you disassemble your Piranha GTI Pixar Fish board. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.